Welcome to Yunnan, a province in southwest China known for its diverse landscapes, rich culture and delicious food. On our road trip from Kunming to Lijiang, we are exploring ancient towns, traditional villages and natural wonders. Join us on this journey through this captivating region. We just arrived at Kunming Airport and we are waiting here for our rental car. We are waiting that it is brought here, at least this is what we understood. They really brought the car here directly to the airport exit. Quite a nice service. We are driving to two scenic spots, Stone Cave and Stone Forest. I'm here with geologist Anne, looking forward to hear what she's telling me. Underground rivers are flowing through the stones and whenever they erode enough of the stone material, the cave is collapsing together. Water is dropping from the top and the calcium carbonate is forming the rock pillars. Go Anne, up to the mountains! We are in Naigu Stone Forest Park, a UNESCO Geo Park and World Heritage Site. Here's another episode with geologist Anne. So the stones have different colors because they are different minerals coming together. The dark ones is dolomite limestone. After walking more than 17,000 steps today, we are craving for some good local food. Street barbecue is very popular here in Kunming, so we need to give it a try. Next to the barbecue, there's also some fried rice, and as Lucas is very hungry, we decided to take it both. Delicious? Delicious. Second course. <laughs> It's our second day in Kunming and still a lot to discover. Kunming, the city of eternal spring, has an average temperature of 15 degrees. Asia's largest flower market, the Donut Flower Market, is located here. Let's take a look inside. On an area of 8 square kilometers, there are over 1,500 varieties of flowers, which are traded in 50 different countries and regions. 28 million flowers are sold here daily and even a dedicated e-commerce platform opened to further boost flower sales. Bye bye flower market! I guess you didn't know that Yunnan is China's most famous coffee region because climate and soil conditions are quite perfect here. Let's enjoy a stroll through Green Lake Park with a freshly brewed coffee. We don't have too much time to stay here, as we still have Kunming's famous mountain Xishan to climb. So let's hurry up! Xishan is around 2000 meters high and also called Sleeping Buddha Mountain, because the peaks look like a Buddha from afar. I couldn't recognize it from our drone shots. This is the first time that I was with Anne on a mountain and we only walked down. It's Christmas Eve and we're strolling through Guandu Old Town looking for a place to have a nice dinner. Kunming is known for those rice noodle dishes and we found a restaurant that looks quite good. Let's have a try. With this evening, our stay in Kunming comes to an end and we're setting off to our next destination, Dali. It's a new day, I'm on the passenger seat, Anne is driving. After driving for three and a half hours, we arrived in Dali. The old town of Dali has more than 1,000 years of history and is a very colorful and relaxing place. Dali's old town is packed with numerous traditional buildings. The Wuhua Tower was burned down and rebuilt several times. 
Also, the Confucian Temple is a 2014 reconstruction of the original one from Qing Dynasty. Not to miss in Dali are the iconic three pagodas. They were built around 1200 years ago in the Tang Dynasty. A good place to fly around with a drone. The wind was quite cold already today, so we decided to have some hot pots to get warm. The restaurant is Chongqing inspired and Chongqing is known for very spicy hot pots and both this soup here is already spicy this orange paste <laughs> too <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure I'm crying Imagine a hungry Lucas not able to finish his food Anyhow, let's move on On our way from Dali to Lijiang, we passed by Shashi Ancient Town. It's a very small town founded around 700 AD as a trading point on the Tea Horse Road. At that time, tea was traded to Tibet and India and horses were brought back to China in return, giving the Tea Horse Road its name. Even in this very small Chinese old town, you can experience this temple with augmented reality. Not sure if I want this monster to be moving. We arrived in our final destination in Yunnan, in Lijiang. Lijiang is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and famous for its well-preserved old town. It's raining and freezing cold. We are enjoying it. Lijiang is home to the Naji people, one of China's oldest ethnic groups. Originally coming from Tibet, they've been living here for more than 1,000 years. Mu's mansion is also called the miniature forbidden city of Lijiang. The Mu family enjoyed high prestige and power over 470 years in Lijiang. After a short city tour, we checked in in our hotel and the hotel owner just brought us a hot tea to warm us up. It's really shocking to us that all restaurants have their doors wide open. <laughs> it's so cold. Anyways, let's close this day with a yak meat pot. The restaurant owner just brought us this bottle of liquor made out of Pu'er tea, which is famous tea coming here of Yunnan province. Yes. Cheers! Good morning, it's a new day, the sun is shining, we're going to the snow mountain today, but first we need some energy. We're taking the cable car up to Yulong Snow Mountain. Right now it's foggy and snowing, but on the top we can already see some sun. We arrived on the top. We are around 4,500 meters here and the peak behind us is around 5,600 meters high. It's minus 2 degrees but the wind is freezing cold right now.
our Yunnan trip is coming to an end. Bye bye Snow Dragon. Bye bye Snow Mountain. Bye bye Yunnan. <laughs>